I think that coming on this trek makes me think about climate change so much differently just in the fact that it feels so real and you can see the impacts that it's having. People here, a couple years ago, they had a supply of fresh water and a couple years later, it's almost gone. It's really hot. It's really windy, which can be a challenge. Um, no electricity, there's no really vegetation besides cactus. I don't think you can really understand how that affects every aspect of your day until you actually get here and you live the way that they're currently living. I'm really impressed with how much this community has really been able to do without power. No tenemos una cocina de la escuela, al igual que un comedor. Le entregan carne, la carne le toca abrirla y colocarla al sol porque no tenemos dónde refrigerarla, igual que el pescado. De esa manera es la única forma de que puedo esperar toda la semana para hacer la preparación de los desayunos de los niños. To have light and to have uh, refrigeration for food and, and all of that is like things we take for granted that you know they'll have the first time ever which is you know is really great and you can sort of see that excitement in their eyes because I think they they have an idea of what's coming Let's go. we're breaking through rock to to build the trenches uh, to thread the wire the work is very hard though we've only been at it for a few days I think it's really reflective of the resiliency of the local people and how they live this life every day and have done so for generations. It is the hardest physical labor I've ever done in my whole life. The way that my team showed up on this trip was unbelievably awesome, seeing everybody rally together, even when it's dark, when one person wanted to keep going. You know, coming here, I knew that we would be living amongst the community and working with them, but I really didn't realize the cultural exchange that would happen. Like really being able to learn about their games and actually being able to like be involved in it has been super amazing. It was really fun to see how good they are and then how bad we were. Aside from this project, we were able to build a dining hall so they'll have some place to sit, they don't have to sit on the floor, and I think they are gonna be really excited about that. There's a clear uh, bond between the, the community and us. You got it? Yes. yes. I feel incredibly motivated to take this momentum I've gained from this trip and battle climate change at home through my job, uh, through my lifestyle, through just everyday choices that I get the chance to make. Ready? <laughs> Turning on the lights is just an absolutely indescribable feeling. Any moment of hardship throughout the week, it all felt like an amazing payoff at the end. Verdad, cuando prendieron la luz, yo no que no creí en eso. Uh, estoy muy alegre. Cuando prendió la luz, estaba feliz por prender por todos los salones. Siento muy feliz por tener luz a esta institución para tener, para tener un futuro bien bonito, hermoso, ayudar a la comunidad y ser alguien en la vida. <risa>